Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Gay From Scratch, and today we are talking about an acquisition that Unity Technologies just made. And truth of the matter is, Unity doesn't acquire that many companies, so it's always newsworthy. Uh, although, weirdly enough, their last two purchases have been very, very similar, as we will see in a few minutes. So they just bought Chili Connect, and Chili Connect is a live game management service. We're actually going to see a lot of uh, buzzwords in this particular news release, but let's jump in. Now, obviously, the kind of target for online back end services. On one hand, you've got the you know, developers, they have to implement the networking and such in their back end. But this is a lot of about live ops. So this is more for your accountants and marketers to come out. So there's gonna be a lot of acronyms. And I'm going to do my best to translate them back to English as much as possible. So here we got the announcement today, we're excited to confirm that Unity has acquired Chili Connect, the live game management services company. Um, with the addition of Chili Connect to the Unity ecosystem, we're adding even more options for developers. Chili Connect provides cloud based game services to enable back end operations at scale, allowing anyone to add online uh, game features without needing to stand up individual servers, but that's only part of it. Their full stack toolkit includes live op capabilities and real-time analytics, so building and operating a connected game become very, um, becomes more of a reality. Now, if this sounds kind of familiar to what I was just talking about like yesterday with Google, oh, sorry, um, Godot and their partnership with Nakama, yeah, same thing. Literally, Nakama and Chili Connect are direct competitors. Except for Chili Connect does not have an open source version, and they do have more tiers in the terms of pricing structure, as we will see in just a moment. So, what do we got here? So, what does Chili Connect do? They do back end management tools that are proven to scale to millions of players, including a custom player account system, cloud coding mechanism, and cloud data storage. So, basically, place for your game to go, place for your game data to go, uh, and the tools you need to scale it up. Analytics. All right, so here's where we get into a little bit of acronyms. So uh, gives developers an inside look at essential KPIs such as player retention, MAU, DAU, and more. So the explanation here is KPI stands for um, Key Performance Indicators. Basically, that's just um, you know the things that are most important from a data perspective for you to track. So you can see how well you are doing essentially. Uh, MAU and DAU stands for Monthly Active Users and Daily Active Users. So we're back to English now. And then the live ops, we get a toolkit in and of itself offering downloadable content, notifications, A-B testing, and promotions. Now, A-B testing is something standard from the marketing world. It's kind of like you run two campaigns side by side. You look at the results of them, and then you pick which one works best. So, for example, say you had a DLC program for, um, you know, you gave 50% of offers to this one side and 50% to the other side. Slightly different offers with, you know, you track it, see which one works the best overall, and then you make that the primary offer. So the one offer would be your A, the other one would be your B, and you're testing to see how well they perform. It's a fairly straightforward concept on the whole. So Chili Connect is going to remain engine agnostic um, going forward. So that's definitely a cool thing. Um, yeah. So now let us head on over to Chili Connect's webpage. They have a blog announcement basically saying the same thing. They're going to stay somewhat independent. Chili Connect is actually a fairly small company. I think it's about seven or eight people uh, out of Scotland, I believe it was. Um, but the kind of funny thing here is Chili Connect joins Unity. The most recent news thing the one that came just before it was that they integrated with Unreal SDK. And if you're wondering what technologies Chili Connect supports, it's Unity, Unreal Engine, and HTTP. So you can use networking calls, web services to make it work with whatever platform you want. And in terms of what is this all about? Well, we covered a lot of this. So it's kind of like, once again, everybody and their dog wants to, to own your player account and login information, but they offer that functionality. Cloud code, uh, this is the ability to uh, write your own custom code using our powerful cloud code feature. Cloud code integrates seamlessly with other features of Chili Connect and our built-in testing harness makes it easy to quickly iterate over your scripts. These do look like ECMA 6 scripts, so modern Java. JavaScript. Uh, we've got tools here for real money purchases, uh, economic management, in-app purchase validation, uh, cloud data for storing stuff up in the cloud, um, leaderboards, multiplayer, uh, including networking, turn, uh, flexible turn type, turn type server, client authentication, uh, real-time support provided through integration with Photon. And uh, then we got then the stuff for your marketing people here. So we got analytics dashboards, uh, data export out into either SQL database or CSV, player insights, data warehousing, and then we get live ops stuff such as DLC push notifications, A-B testing, as I was mentioning early on, and the ability to run live events. They've got a 30-day trial if you want to check it out for free. And then that segues nicely into pricing. So price-wise, they have an indie tier at $50 a month, a startup tier at $250 a month, studio tier at $750 a month and POA, 
price on, I don't know what that actually stands for. This sounds like basically a negotiated version. Um, one thing I like, I mentioned in the Nakama video, Nakama's got a great deal because the indie tier for them is basically open source, do it yourself completely free. But then they jump up to kind of this tier. They don't have anything in the middle. So it's nice to see this, this gradation of pricing. I'd be interested to hear if you have the same opinions. Um, now, in terms of what you get, this is much more metered, um, and that actually has a downside. There's a nice peace of mind of just knowing, okay, you can just use however much data as you want, whereas this one, you have to track how many API calls you're making, and then any overages you're gonna start paying for. Uh, but that is the pricing structure for Chili Connect, and theoretically, it is all going to stay independent and the same. Now, at the very beginning, I mentioned that this purchase was a little bit weirder, and this was the second back-to-back -back purchase that Unity just made in this space. Well, the last one they did was buying a company called Delta DNA. Um, not a lot of details on this for the most part, but uh, back in September, so literally just last month, they bought Delta DNA. And what does Delta DNA do? It brings an important piece of the puzzle, highly customizable, customizable live ops to better understand and engage your players. Same thing. It does the same thing. So they just bought two live ops companies. I, I don't really get why, especially it doesn't seem like they're going to be um, merging them together. It's also engine agnostic um, and it's going to stay that way. So I maybe just um, Unity decided we want all of the live ops. So they're buying all of the live ops. But to make things even weirder is last year, Google announced a partnership with uh, Unity, the Google Cloud and Unity. We're gonna work together to basically provide um, the creation of performant and scalable connected games. So this is more of the same stuff. This is for multiplayer turn-based, real-time, uh, the exact same thing, cloud-based hosting, open source matchmaking, game server hosting, um, the new networking layer that Unity is working on kind of a separate thing. But basically they did a sales partnership where Google Cloud was going to do networking that worked directly with uh, Google, and this was going to be their future, and it was going to have live ops support and everything else. And then since then, they just went ahead and bought two live ops companies. So I don't know if that whole Google Connect or Google Cloud partnership is just out the window. Again, there's a lot of this acquisition that I just do not get. So uh, let me know if you've worked with any of these companies in the past, if you've worked with Chili Connect or uh, what the heck was that other one called? Delta DNA, or if you got involved at all of the connected games um, plan from Google. Uh, I would love to hear what you've thought of your experience and what you think of this acquisition overall. For the most part, it's pretty minor, but obviously that whole cloud live ops hosting space is kind of seen as an important thing because you've got Unreal getting in that space, Unity getting in that space, Google getting in that space, Microsoft's in that space, Sony's in that space, Nintendo's in that space, Steam is in that space. Um, good old games, I think, even created their own login and credential server. And then you've got like seven or eight other companies that are like Chili Connect, uh, like Nakama, we just saw the other day, all kind of fighting it out for this space. It's a very crowded space. Uh, anyways, let me know what you think of this acquisition, this space in general, and everything else. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.